Welcome to Bit Media, where we share the news and topics of interest. To keep updated, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we talk rugby and find out where South African Nas Bota is. Nas is one of the all-time greats of South African rugby. He won 28 caps for the Springboks during a 12-year international career between 1980 to 1992. Nas Bota was known for his boot, kicking from his hand, place kicking as well as slotting drop goals with perfection. So, what happened to Nas Bota? This has been a question on the lips of many South African rugby fans as they became aware of the absence of Nas on TV. As usual the rumour mill started, and some assumed Nas was axed because of the Ashwell Willems saga. The truth is, in March, South African rugby legend Nas Bota took over the job as the head coach of the Indian men and women's rugby teams. Within a few months, he has got the women's team scrumming into his coaching methods. In only their second international 15s game, India beat Singapore. The 61-year-old, via email, answered Pranav Shahani's questions on his plans for making rugby an Indian sport. The first question is, what were your first thoughts on taking the job and what were you looking to achieve in the shorter term? Nas replied, the most important thing for us was to find out strengths and weaknesses of players, inculcate a positive attitude, ensure that players loved the sport, and loved going into training each day. I think we achieved that. Success was secondary, and we knew it was always there along the line if we managed to lay a platform first. We had camps in different parts of the country to gauge talent, and I was pleasantly surprised with the quality of players. Some even seem like they can turn into fantastic international rugby players. However, I also spotted a number of positions we need to find better players for. It's important to broaden the player pool, and I'm looking to bring big and tall players into the team. The next question is, team captain, Vabis Berucha, attributed the success against Singapore to the overall attitude of the players. How impressed are you with the mentality of the national team? Nas answered, player attitude is probably the most important thing in making a team successful. As coaches, our job is to create an environment they enjoy but they're the ones that are out there on the field giving it their all. There still are a lot of things we need to learn, but we've started off on the right foot. The main goal was to get them through June with success, and I think that we've achieved that. Now the plan is to assess Indian rugby and take it further. Another good question for Nas. This first wing could certainly have given you, and Rugby India, a platform to build something sustainable for the longer term. What are your plans going forward? Nas replied. A number of schools are playing rugby today. The main aim is to turn 7 aside rugby into 15 aside in a few schools across the country. Right now, 800 schools are playing 7 aside rugby. Even if 50 to 100 of them start their own 15 aside there'll be a vast difference and suddenly the pool of talent will also increase. I will also speak to the board at the end of July and discuss my plans with them. That is when I will clearly be able to say what I really want. Everybody must contribute to make India a better rugby nation. There is a population of 1.3 billion people so I'm sure we can make a team of 15 really competitive players. Yes, there will be a little bit of work from everyone. We can't be successful and stay on cloud nine for too long. It's all about building on our success. Finally, what are you looking for from players that board in the rugby season as a whole? Nas said. I need players that look forward to training and who actually enjoy playing the game. 
I think they have enough knowledge of the game now and a number of them even go into games thinking we have a realistic chance of winning. We're looking to work on their fitness and their skills as you need to reach a certain level before you can compete against the top teams internationally. We need to play more internationals. Ideally, I believe we should at least play 10 to 12 of them per season. I know it's a high number, but it's something that needs to be done. There are a number of issues we need to address and we're working collectively to do just that. Thanks to Nas Bolta for this insight into rugby becoming an Indian sport. It seems Nas is enjoying his new role and maybe this is the start of a successful coaching career. We wish Nas all the best. Thank you for listening to Big Media Sport. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time.